That's, I yeah. wanted to ask you quickly, I didn't have this on my list here, but you're, you talked about those early days of getting an asset ready to be saleable. Uh, and I think that's something that's uh, sort of an underlooked part. It's not something that I, that I think a, maybe a lot of people always think about, but like, what are the key things you need? Uh, is it, you know, to, to make an asset saleable like that? Is it really just sort of that, that alignment that you spoke of that you really just want to make sure that everything's on point to the level where you can keep plugging away at a, at a certain audience set and have ads continually be profitable? Is that, is that the, like, what are the main assets you need when, when you're looking at selling a, an e-commerce brand? Great question. This is probably something I can actually provide value and I feel like I was blowing a lot of air earlier kind of giving my background. This is something I see all the time. Um, people in a lot of the e-commerce and you know Facebook ad buyer groups and Facebook ad hacks and so on and so forth are always trying to sell brands. Think about it this way. An e-commerce company, when you're trying to sell it, is simply an investment. It's an asset. Right? People want to be able to know that they're investing their money in something that is eventually going to give them a, a profitable return. Um, so when you're when you're preparing an e-commerce brand, small or large, I mean, I'm talking like you can you can take an e-commerce brand that's done ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars over over two three months, which is relatively low in revenue, and and position it as an asset for purchase. Um, so you, you, you want to make sure that, of course, you have all of your, your basic level assets like your website, your social media pages, uh, of course, your domain. Um, if you're using a merchant account, most of the time people are using Shopify right now, but you bundle everything together as like, this is what you're buying. You're buying my MailChimp account. You're buying all of these assets. Um, but the other thing that people want to buy is ease of use. And this is where I actually see a lot of um, you know, people who, are, who start e-commerce brands, whether it be drop shipping. Um, or, or, you know, something where they're self-fulfilling is they're not positioning the investment. People don't want to work very hard once they buy that. They want to buy a starter company, which is why they're buying it from you because they're not very good at, at starting it. You did a lot of the hardest work. They want to buy something where they're like, okay, explain to me how I'm getting this traffic. Explain to me like how this funnel works. And so what I actually do is I bundle together all the assets of like a purchase list of what you're buying. And then basically here's how you'll do it. And I actually create an infographic or a funnel. I mean, you'll see them all over my office um, is I'm a very visual person. So like where, where are people's eyes going? Where are the, where do the buttons lead? Um, but most of the time you'll actually see funnels up on the wall. We've got these big sticky notes. I use them all the time, but to get back to it, a list of what they're buying and a list of essentially how to continue the success and then visualize what what the current funnel looks like for the for the buyer so you're running facebook ads right they're going to the website one of three things is happening number one they make a purchase that's great number two they abandon their cart they end up in a funnel that's where about 60 percent of our sales are coming from right now right let's just say if we're, if we're running it. number three they're being retargeted with this facebook pixel right or with a retargeting pixel let's say in which case i'm retargeting with that one of them's a major conversion a purchase conversion the other two are what i consider to be like a micro conversion right they're falling in some in some sort of funnel now i'm staying in front of all these people that ended up clicking on my ad viewing the product adding the cart whatever it is some people are getting emails some people are getting this that way the buyer can actually visualize exactly what they're investing in they're investing in a system they're investing in audiences that work products that are proven a website that converts and it's 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 a machine. Visualize the machine for them. Don't just give them what they're buying and start you know spewing numbers. You know numbers can be faked. I there's probably probably a lot of people on this on um, uh, listening to this um, and and me and you who could run through a bunch.